wash for you and they're all free. They also All right, let's get that suitcase ready and head out the doors. So the drive from Guangzhou to Macau takes about an hour and a half, and then we would have to go through customs and just before you know it, we'll arrive in Macau. But first, we quickly made a stop to grab lunch and it was raining really hard, so we had to wait until we were able to continue. Then we parked our car and walked to the custom area and the entire process took around only 20 minutes, which was super fast and convenient. I finally arrived in Macau and right now is we're gonna we have to do something that we have to do every single year. It's raining also. We have to find the bus that goes to the hotel that we're staying at. Which is all those. So yeah, I, I'm just following, I don't even know which bus. First stop, we have finally arrived at the Celebrity Tower. We're about to get in. So our first stop was Studio City, and this was the most frequent hotel that we stay at. Every time I come to um, Macau's hotel, I always love the smell, especially um, these ones where they have a very like jasmine scent to it. So that's why I really like it. A few moments later. Uh, just then, you can't believe it, but we stayed at the casino from 2 to it's probably like 6.30 or 7 right now, but lost quite a lot, unfortunately, but we'll continue tomorrow. Anyways, we're having dinner right now. We got some free fruit. The meals came. Yeah. We just finished dinner and we got out of the casino. We also got out of this hotel because we're gonna be heading over to another hotel that we're gonna be staying at. It is my first time staying at that hotel, so I'll definitely be showing you guys around. Can I just say that this red carpet created by lights is such a smart idea. And the hotel that we're passing by is called the Peristian, and most of the hotels are one by one beside each other, so visiting all of them is just one walk away. So the hotel that we're staying at is called the Sheraton Grand Macau, located within the Londoner. It is the largest Sheraton in Macau's most prominent hotel. We stayed at the Deluxe Coda Room and it is a mixture of modern and classic style with hints of Chinese detailing, hence the red walls and chairs. So this is how the bathroom looks like. We come in and we see a shower and then we have a bathtub, a huge ass mirror, and then we have the toilet. It's actually a pretty big space if you look at it like this. I'm standing right here and it's all like this. Hello, I just got unready for the night. It is, I believe, 1.30 a.m. in the morning right now. And just then my cousin and I, we were downstairs at the casino once again because it is my first time at the casino so pretty exciting for that the second time we went to a different hotel and then um it was completely different vibe let me tell you guys every single hotel it's a different vibe at a different casino so i went to the i think it's called oh moon at london and i started winning quite a bit and i mean to me is quite a bit because it's my first time I'll trying again tomorrow <laughs> forgot to say good night everyone first day in macau was very enjoyable so hope you guys also enjoyed it i'll see you guys tomorrow bye <laughs>just got ready for the day i am wearing this cute little crop top it's a little there's it's a little revealing but that is okay and then some a skirt a jean skirt i feel like the lighting is pretty good here let me show you guys the new makeup that i've tried i put on some um colored contacts and then i also put on these lashes they are amazing they look so beautiful so this is how my Makeup looks like today. I feel like I look like a completely different person. This is my 
second or third time wearing this top. I bought it for a really long time. I bought it like two years ago and this is only like the third time that I'm wearing it. So this is the look. Oh, ignore that. That is uh, that is definitely my We're just finishing up last minute touches and we're gonna head down to eat breakfast because I'm starving. I don't know what, what is this? Is it the pimple or what? Guys, I found my store. Why is there an extra E? So when we come to third floor, we see this huge ass food court. There's so many things that we can eat. I don't know what I should eat. This is where we decide to get food. Some teppanyaki, and then we just got our number. We're gonna find a spot to sit now. I'm ready to dig in. Look at that sizzling sound. Can you guys hear this? I'm across this black cab escape. We're gonna experience it in a bit. This is what we're experiencing. Look at this. Ni hao. Ni. The weather was so nice that day, so of course we had to take advantage of that good lighting and take some photos in front of this architecture. Then we found a small street filled with amazing food from Macau, and it was only a 15 minute of a walk from our hotel. I don't know if you can tell, but I am definitely sweating. I'm glowing, that's for sure. The sun is really nice, but unfortunately it's so sunny that I, I can't even handle it, and I forgot an umbrella, so that's really unfortunate. The amount of people on this street is crazy. Officially arrived at our first stop at this road. It's called Saige SK Coffee. So if you can see, they also have the Michelin one. So definitely gonna have to try that out. Hey, come back. Oh. So we got. Oh, we got the coffee. So first thing first, when you drink it, you have to shake it. Shake to me. Shake it. <laughs> I am lining up. This is a huge line for this place. It's Niao Zhao. I love beef intestine, so I have to try this out. This is the menu. We've decided to get the small one and then we're gonna get everything with just mild spicy because we cannot take the spiciness. We're almost here. Yeah. This is what it's called. No, <laughs> we have officially came back to the hotel and it was super hot and sunny outside so we're definitely not going to be going out anymore anyways we are about to enter one of the most popular places in macau and you guys can probably guess what it is as i'm walking in oh there's another escalator I am back at this place. We're right now checking where Sasa is because we need lots of makeup. 
I need to stock up on some, you know, mascara, eyeliner, and everything else. This is the Sasa store that I have to come every single time when I come to Macau for all these beautiful makeup. Anyways, I'm trying to find a mascara and I also need eyeliner because I brought three and all three of them, they ran out of ink, unfortunately. I do not know how that happens, but anyways, I really need to find one and I'm just gonna walk around to see if I find anything good. A few moments later. Here are the goods. I feel like I'm walking on ice. We are about to take the bus to, I guess, the city center area of Macau for dinner because our relatives and family is over there. And my cousin right now is searching up the bus ride because it's just cheaper and we have coins. dinner place. This is where we're gonna be having dinner. It's called Joy Room. I think we also have to go up those escalators too. Just finished dinner and currently we're gonna be walking towards the street to drink some lun cha. It's a very popular drink for all the Cantonese people, especially if you're yeet hey. <laughs> that is one of, in one of my lists whenever I come back to um, Asia because I really like I've been eating out like almost every single day, so I definitely have to drink some lao cha. Yeah. Just got off of the bus and right now I think I'm gonna go back to our hotel and take off my contacts and put the stuff away before I head over to the casino once again. So this is my official first time wearing colored contacts for the entire day and a lot of people always tell me that like your eyes get really dried like at the, by the end of the day and I was like no nah, I can't be because I usually wear contacts anyways and then I realized today oh my gosh my eyes are so dry. I literally need to take them off right now. Like I purposely even like left the group to come back to the hotel just to take off my contacts because I am dying. I'm trying to not waste much time because we actually came back really late right now. It's almost 10. So it's almost sleeping time, but it's definitely not sleeping time for me. So I didn't end up going to the casino. Instead, I enjoyed my night by walking around. Then it was definitely bedtime for me. Good morning! Today is day three in Macau and I just finished getting ready for the day. Let me show you guys what my outfit looks like. I am just wearing a simple tank top with some jean shorts. And they're like the medium length ones and I just tied my hair up just then. And on top of that, for this top, there is a small little surprise because the top is hollow at the back. Oh, look at this. So cute, so cute. I will most definitely gonna be cold during my day today here at the hotel because the AC is super, like it's super strong here. So definitely gonna be wearing a top. I am done and I'm just going to put on some jewelries and get ready and pack my stuff to go to the other hotel. Let's go. We packed our bags, dropped our room cards in the express checkout box, and went to where our grandparents stayed at, which was Studio City. We just arrived at our grandparents' hotel, and the view is actually amazing. Look at this view. Shows right at the eight. This is how it looks like. It's actually smaller than I thought, but we're probably gonna have to squish on one bed tonight. Lunch slash breakfast brunch time. We have just arrived at another hotel. It's called City of Dreams. This is the hotel that we basically stay almost every single year back in the days when we were young. So a lot of things have changed. We're just walking in like the mall area. 
today we didn't do a single thing we walked around and i just checked my um health app that we actually walked around 9,000 steps i don't even know how that happened but we finally sat down and let me show you guys what we're eating yeah we got some not even fried chicken just roasted chicken from mcdonald's this mcdonald's I think one thing good about every single casino is that they always have so many drinks options for you and they're all free. They also have small little snacks. Just then I ate like some buns, some pastries. This is probably my third bubble tea and I drank some milk, I drank some juice. So literally the entire day you won't even get hungry or thirsty at all. Because we're being lazy bums today, we decided to get takeout and right now we're walking down to get takeout. We have to walk all the way down to the big lobby for us to get the food. Let me show you guys what we got for dinner. <laughs> this is. This is what? This is what? This is what? Yeah, beef, minced beef rice. And then this one is the chicken cartilage that I love so much. And then we also have some chicken wings, like the small part of it. And then the last part is some sweets. And if you guys are wondering, this is not mango sago. It is durian sago. Woo! This is the minced beef rice. Right now it is about 8.30 in the morning and we are about to check in of our hotel and we're actually gonna head over to Macau's like city area to uh, eat dim sum. <laughs> to get back to the gate so that we can go back to Guangzhou. Right now, this is where, how it looks like in our luggage. My poor luggage that's broken. When your suitcase is broken, so you have to tape it up. Very good. Old. We are officially back in the <laughs> We are officially back in Guangzhou, so thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!